Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Gauss's Law problem 7b, where we have an infinitely long solid cylinder, non-conducting solid cylinder of radius big R, this purple cylinder, cylinder here, and it has a length L, and it has a charge density of rho naught times little r of big R. So um, the problem asks us to solve for the electric field a distance little r away from the center of our charged cylinder. So we're going to use Gauss's law for this. And we have the left hand side and the right hand side of Gauss's law. And um, we're going to start with the left hand side. Um, and for the left hand side we have, this basically means the surface area um, of the Gaussian surface times the electric field. Um, and we can really simplify this side a lot by saying that we have a Gaussian surface, which means that um, the electric field is always perpendicular to the surface. So since we have our, our shape is a cylinder, we're going to use a cylinder as our Gaussian surface. And we're going to say our cylinder has a radius little r, because we're a little r away from the center of our charge cylinder. So, now remember, the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi RL, circumference times length, real easy. And so our left-hand side of Gauss Gauss's law becomes um, E times 2 pi RL, and there's the left-hand side. Okay, so now for the hard part, the right-hand side, we have QE over epsilon naught. QE is the enclosed charge inside of our Gaussian surface. And e, uh, epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space, which is a constant. Don't worry about it. You can look it up. So remember, for now, we, so we want to know what QE is. Remember, we have uh, a charge density function here. This is not constant. So that this means that the charge is not constant on this charged cylinder. Um, in this case, it's a function of R, of how far away um, we are from the center of the cylinder. So. We're going to have to use this uh, integral here, that where QE, the enclosed charge, is a triple integral of the charge density times um, well, tiny volume dV. Um, and we're going to use cylindrical coordinates because we have a cylinder, so it makes it really easy. Remember cylindrical coordinates. Um, uh, we have three dimensions of Z, which is, you know, basically length, and R, which is the radius of the cylinder, and theta, which is... Um, around the cylinder in radians. And we have DE, dV here, which is, um, uh, we have a correction factor for, for cylindrical coordinates, which is the R here, we just add an extra R. So dV is equal to R dr dz d theta. And we're going to plug in dV and our charge density function, and we're going to get this equation here, where um, we have QE is equal to this integral where uh, we have the charge density function here in blue, and then our dv in green, and so and the, the, uh, the limits in orange. So here we have d theta with limits from 0 to 2 pi, um, dz with limits from 0 to l, because it's the length of the um, cylinder, and then dr with limits from 0 to big R, which is the radius of our charged cylinder. So, um, we do take the integral of theta, since there's no variables, it just ends up being 2 pi. Same thing with dz, it just ends up turning into L, and as well as the rho naught, which is a constant, we can pull those all out and we get rho, two, rho naught 2 pi L, um, integral 0 to r, little r squared over big R dr. We solve for, um, take the integral of dr and we get r cubed over 3r. Now notice here that um, we're plugging in the big R into the little r for this calculus here. Um, that's because the little r is, is the variable. The big R is um, how far away we are. Is, the big R is the constant, which is um, the radius of our charged cylinder. The little r is just uh, the variable for how far away we are from the center of that cylinder. So we solve this out, get a little bit of cancellation, and we get QE enclosed charge is equal to rho naught two thirds pi L big R squared. So 
Next, what we're going to do is combine the left-hand side and the right-hand side of Gauss's law um, that we've solved for, and we get this equation, and you can see that there's going to be some cancellations with 2 and pi and um, L cancel, and we solve for the electric field here, which is what we're looking for, and we get that the electric field is equal to rho naught big R squared over 3 little r epsilon naught. Um, for the distance little r away from a cylinder of radius big R. Now notice here that the length L doesn't matter because it cancels, which is really cool because um, we do actually have an infinitely long cylinder, so length doesn't matter. Thanks.